Do you have a hard time making custom trees that look good? Do your trees look worse than the one from a Charlie Brown Christmas? If you've said yes to any of those questions, well then stay tuned. I have just the video for you. Hello everyone, it's Bowtie and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going over how to make some custom trees that are nice and beautiful and simple and easy to make. And you can add them into your uh, Minecraft world. Uh, if you like what you're seeing here, I do make a lot of these trees and come up with these designs live on Twitch. I uh, stream survival building. You can check me out on my channel. That's twitch.tv slash bowtie daniels. I'll have the links uh, to my socials and Twitch and all that stuff down in the description below. But let's talk about some of the trees we're going to be making today. The first trees I'll be getting into are these uh, uh, pine or fir trees that you're seeing right here. They work out really well on mountains or in cold biomes. And then the next trees we're going to get into, they're the ones out here in front. Uh, that we saw in the beginning of the video. I like to call these my apple trees and they're they're great for fitting into smaller spaces that you need to just do something nice and decorative and small without taking up a lot of room. And hopefully you can see why I call them my apple trees. I mean, they, they would look absolutely great having a field of them to make up an apple farm. On the sides here on both ends, we have what I've called my up trees. These are what I'd say is more like a medium size and it's a great gateway into making bigger and larger custom trees. So we'll go over that design as well. That'll be the last one that we wrap up with, but we're gonna start off with talking about the pine and the fir trees that we have in the background. So let's get to doing some building. Okay, so in order to make these pine and fir trees, there's two things that you need. You need a fence post block and you need a leaf block. You can pick whatever combination of leaves and fences that you want. I personally prefer to use spruce wood with spruce leaves. That's what looks the most natural to me. Now to make this very simple tree, you start off by just placing on one fence post and you can go up another layer. And at this point you have some options and decisions to make. You can either go straight across like this, or you can do it on a bit of a corner. Whatever way you wanna do it, that's up to you. I typically make my trees uh, going straight across like so. And if you're doing this in survival, you wanna be able to pillar up on top. Now it's gonna make putting this all down a lot simpler. So I go up another block and I'll do fence posts in the opposite areas that we have not um, filled in. So you wanna make sure all four directions have a fence post going into them. So if you do them in a corner like this, then you're gonna have the other ones on this layer going in that corner like so, if that makes sense. From here, I like coming up two blocks and then I pick another direction to go in. But this time, instead of placing down two fence posts, I just do one at a time. And from here, you can pick whatever directions you want to turn in and just do one fence post at a time until you got four more going up. After you do the four, you just go up one more block and that's it for the fence posts. Now at this point, I start placing leaves. You can do one or two leaves on top. I typically do two, but whatever you want to do. And then I place leaves on the tops and bottoms of all my fence posts. So let me just fly around and do this a little bit quicker here. And it's gonna slowly fill in the tree. And you can do this as you work your way down from the top, dro uh, dropping down from layer to layer. And a lot of these you can even just get from the ground. You might have to, you know, jump a little bit if you're doing it in survival, but it's not too bad. Now on the bottom layers here, I just go three straight across. I do that on both sides. And for the most part, that is the tree. You may find that there's some bare spots like up here. You might not like that it's completely, you know, bare up there. So you can go ahead and just you know, maybe plop in a leaf block over here and maybe on this side, you might feel like that's too much space. You can do another one right there. However you want to do it, this is your tree. You can customize those. You can have it be naked in a few spots. You can have it be more filled in if you want. Uh, sometimes on these types of trees, I'll go down here and just put a couple extra blocks at the bottom to make the base a little fluffier. Uh, but I don't do that too often. It gives you a little bit more of that traditional like pine or, or fir shape. A lot of the times I'm just using them in tight spaces. So yeah, that's a real simple, easy one to make in just a matter of a, a minute or two. I think I've made my fastest one in like 50 seconds. So the next kind of tree we're gonna make is uh, the apple trees. And to do this, you're gonna need five blocks. You're gonna want a log block of some type. You can use the ones that's covered in all six sizes, or you can use the ones that are exposed on the top and bottom. If you wanna be extra fancy and add another layer of detail to your tree, that's up to you. You're gonna need a leaf block. I prefer matching uh, oak leaves with oak wood. That's what I'm doing here. And then you're gonna want fences, stairs, and slabs that match your oak block. So when it comes to 
oak wood, I think spruce is the way to go. Um, now to get building with this and, and start off, I usually come up three blocks, just like so. And then from here, this is where we make some decisions. So this block is just a temporary block, but I'll come in and I'll place in, you know, two logs going out in a direction. Um, and I make a Y shape on top. So these are gonna be up one and then I do a third one, a layer down going out on a diagonal in this case, but you can mix these levels up if you want. So like that could be higher, this could be lower, or you know, that one could be lower and instead this one is higher. Whatever shape works for you, that's what you can do here. So I'm gonna do it uh, like this. I like that shape. I, I tend to lean towards this one quite a bit. Now for our fence post for detailing, we come in and we place the post on most of the edges of the blocks. Not all of them, just most of them. Uh, there's a few spots like right here. That's a little too close. I don't like that. Uh, it's gonna connect kind of funny, kind of weird. So I might not do it over here too, because then it connects right to the base trunk and, and that's something else I don't like doing in my trees. But if that looks good to you, then by all means do that. These are not hard rules. You can change them and, and use them however you want for your own custom trees. Then I'll also put fences on uh, top of each of the uh, the branches. From here, we're gonna work on our trees. And when I do this in survival, I always work from the top and I'll place my leaves on the outside of all the fence posts, just like, like this. And I, I do this in a couple of passes typically. So the first one is just quickly going around on the outside, getting this all filled in. And then I might take some time to look at uh, what I like and what I don't like. And things that I don't like uh, is, is like what I what I call is my uh, staircase pattern. So I don't like that it's, you know, it's kind of going up and down like a staircase on a few of these sides. So I can change that real easy. Uh, I can do something like that. And now we have that pattern removed and taken care of. And it adds a little extra fluffiness to the tree. So it's something that I like to do. Uh, I might also want to do that over here as well. So maybe this will actually come out a little further. And... Uh, you no, know, we can just leave that one there and that, that gets rid of the shape as well. Uh, so it's up to you how you want to combat that problem. That's just something I look for in my trees that I don't like doing. And then I finish off by doing the next layer and also putting the leaves on top of the fence post as well. Again, I try not to put leaves right on top of, uh, of bark. I, it's just not a look that I like, but if that looks fine to you, you can do that. And we got a couple of spaces here and there to, uh, to fill in. You don't have to fill in every space. Uh, sometimes it actually looks better if you go underneath the tree and you look up and you actually have a hole going into the sky. So like if I were to get rid of that one, because it's kind of close to the trunk, maybe that one. Uh, you, you look at trees in real life and you're, you're usually able to see through them a little bit. So you can play around and, and look for what uh, is, is appealing to your eye. And I may add in a few just extra bits of fluffiness up here. So we may have just filled in that gap, but we still have some holes poking out here and there. So that's just a nice way to get this done. We'll fly around and see what looks good, what doesn't look good. See, I'm not I'm not liking this corner that we did before. So maybe instead I'll just bring that out a little bit and then uh, we'll fill in our holes, maybe put something in there. And I think I like that a little bit better. So the next thing I'll do is start identifying, because you, you see, you got a very flat bottom here. That doesn't look very good in my opinion. So I like coming in and bringing in just a couple of leaf blocks here and there. You can do them directly on a leaf block, or you can add a little bit more depth and put them underneath the uh, the fence posts. And it gets rid of that, that, that flatness to your tree and helps um, make it look like the branches are hanging down a little bit, like you see a lot. I don't usually do it on the lower branch, but, uh, you know, it, it works. I think in this situation, we're okay with it. Now, the last part of this process that I do is I start adding in some extra detailing for the trunk, just coming in nice and simple, some oak wood and from, uh, not some oak wood, some spruce wood connecting into the oak logs uh, with our stairs and fence posts. So these are just some different ideas that you can do to make it work. And you can add it in up here. Sometimes I don't like that this is just kind of floating and, and looks kind of thin and, and detached. So I'll throw in a slab up there. And it just makes everything look like it's connected a bit more. So those are some options. You can also add in a fence post up there. I don't like doing two in a row, so I wouldn't wouldn't do that there. But maybe over here, it, it looks fine or it looks okay. So those are just options that you can mix around and uh, mess with and, and see what works for you. You can also add in maybe a slab a little further out, like it's a root picking, uh, poking out of the ground or even coming in with like another 
oak block a little further away so like you have the the roots growing around if you really wanted to detail this up and make it look nice you can come back and throw in some some coarse dirt here and there and bone meal the ground around it and uh, you'll get a pretty nice looking tree so now as i, I look at this more yeah i don't like that block there it's just hanging down a little bit too low but yeah and you can fill those up all over in a field and make your own little uh little apple farm all right, now for the last type of tree, we're going to go on to what I called my up trees, which is standing right there behind me. We're going to use the same exact materials, except I'm changing out the oak logs for some stripped spruce. That works out really nicely with these. You don't have to limit it just to the bark blocks. Uh, the stripped logs work out pretty nicely for these trees, too. So the up tree, I call it that because all the branches kind of move up in a... Uh, upward direction <laughs> that's why it's called up trees and it's a continuation of the apple tree just on a larger scale so like the apple tree became up three uh this one will actually go up four and i'm going to add a lean to this tree so we're going to come over spring off to the side slightly so we have the tree leaning over and we start doing our roots and things in the base at the end we're going to thicken it up on this side to give it more structure and support so now we have our main trunk going up we're going to follow the same concept with the the wide design and you can mix these up you can have different shapes and, and levels like we did for the the apple tree but i'm going to do this one all on the same level and instead to change like the height and the variation of the tree we're going to do it by making these either taller or longer so we're going to come up two on that one uh maybe this one over here you know, this one will come up too, and let's make this one three instead. So that's where we're really going to get our variation in. And if we want to go crazy, we can make that a one. I'm not going to like that. I want that to go up too. And you can move this out another block as well. So maybe we'll, let's take a look at that. Is that going to be nice? I think that'll be good. So let's mess around with that and start putting in our fence post. Now on this kind of tree, you know, the fence post is on top. That's, that's easy. You don't have to think about that here since we have more than one layer you got to think about where you're putting your fence posts and you, you want to mix it up you don't want them all in the same the same height you can get rid of that one that, that one didn't need to be in there uh so that's what i'm trying to do here i'm just trying to variate it a little bit so it's not going to be all kind of mushed together and, and you know on this three tall one you might want to put um, one on the top and the bottom just to mix it up and we'll put one in the middle there and, and one there and we'll do we'll do that again maybe that doesn't look too bad. Okay, so we got the basic foundation and there may be a few other spots you want to add in branch. Like maybe a branch would be nice there. Uh, if we come around on this side, that could probably use a branch. And in the middle parts, you do the same thing. Maybe this needs to come out and, and have a branch that comes out and, and over and up. Uh, you can add in another one here and, and Maybe another one comes out over here and, and, and goes off to the side. These are all, all decisions you can make as you're, you're building your tree. So I'm going to stop there with the branches and start putting my leaves. We're going to follow the same sort of concept. So on like the lowest level that you have most of your branches, uh, I'm not going to do some of the lower ones. Like over here, that one's a little too low down. I want to do it where I have the most of my branches. We'll go ahead and just start putting in our leaves all along the sides here. Oops. That one didn't need to go in. And again, I try to not put my leaves next to bark blocks. I just don't like how it looks, but maybe that's okay for your tree. And I do actually break that rule sometimes. It's it's not really a rule, it's just more of a guideline. Um, but you know, there's a time and a place for it. And I think this is just a good guideline to do your initial leaf placements and figure out how everything is gonna look um, where you don't have to think about it. You just know, okay, I'm gonna come in and place everything on a fence post. And after that, I'll come in and start changing up to be more of what I like or what I want my tree to be. And we'll put them on top of our fence post as well. I'm not going to do it there because that's going to be on a bark block. And you know me, I just said I don't like doing that. And slowly but surely, we'll get everything filled in. The nice thing about not putting stuff on, on bark blocks is you have these, these natural areas where uh, the leaves are leaving gaps and holes and that's that's very realistic looking that's how a lot of trees are going to look if you're just taking a walk outside and um you see trees out there they're not completely covered in leaves they do have pockets and gaps and spaces where you're you're just gonna be able to look up and, and see the sky i say that as i put a leaf block in that blocks the sky <laughs> 
All right, these are the last few I really need to do up here. Then we can start evaluating our leaf placements and seeing what do we need to change? What needs to be adjusted? Because nothing's ever gonna be perfect the first time. And if you're getting it right on the first time, then why are you watching this video? Yes, yeah, so that looks kind of nice. That looks nice so far. You got a good shape, a good fluffiness up there. And you can see how with this leaning design for the up trees, this could very well be something that goes in a savanna. You can use it for uh, acacia trees. So it's not just limited to, to oak and spruce wood types. You can do it with all sorts of different types of trees and mix it up for more interesting uh, effects and looks. Some of these on the bottom, uh, we'll start putting in you know what? We're going to leave that one as is. We're going to bring a few of these down as well. And I'm, I'm jumping around a bit in the process. I'm doing what looks right to me at the moment. Sometimes you're going to want to stick on one thing a little bit longer than another. Um, but go with what motivates you, what inspires you at that time, whatever you're, you're feeling. Do that. Work on that if that's what works best for you on your tree. This area, if I look at it from above, is... is not too bad. It's a little weird. I think I want to put in some fluffiness there. We got to do some fluffiness here. So we're going to place just some temporary leaf blocks as like placeholders. So we're going to knock out that one. We're going to knock out that one. And it, it smooths out that shape a little bit more. We're going to do the same thing over here. Maybe we'll just come out one right there and, and maybe right there as well. I think it's going to look a bit nicer. So we'll just do a quick fly around. I think that seems okay. We can check it out from above. I love doing this in Elytra and just seeing how everything looks. And that looks, that looks fine to me. Some of these down here, maybe we have too many because um, it just looked too flat. We can start adding in our, our hanging branches a bit more over here and, and maybe another one over here. This one just seems too low, but it might be because it's by itself or we have four in a row. I think that's way too many. I don't like doing, oh no, that was five in a row. I don't like doing more than three in a row. That's typically what I stay away from. So we can do maybe three right there. I, I'm not sure how I feel about that. We may come back and make a change there. Uh, maybe we'll just pop it out in the middle. Nah, that doesn't look right. We'll leave it like so. Maybe this one in the middle we'll take out. Just have a nice airspace there. This could be a good spot to put in like another just a little bit of leaf for, for fluffiness. I like my fluffy trees. And this one can come down too. And you just continue around until you get something that you like. Going very slowly, don't rush the tree. The more you rush it, the worse it's gonna look. You don't wanna overdo it. There's gotta be a point in time where you just say you're done. And I think I'm at the point where if I start putting in more leaves, we're gonna actually make the tree look worse. So I'm gonna call that one done. And let's start doing some more detailing. So we can come in and adding in our stairs and slabs and fence posts down here. So because we have the tree leaning off to the left, I'm gonna throw down a stair block over there and maybe a slab over here. And on this side, we'll place in a log block with the, uh, the fence on top. And we could even maybe add another log right there and add a slab on top of that. That don't look too bad. We really want to make it look secure. We can add in another log down here with a fence coming in and, and creating another route that moves out from there. But yeah, that's our, our up trees. And I think that looks pretty good. There we have it, everyone. And that's how you make simple custom trees that'll look great in your Minecraft world. If you've enjoyed the video, then please leave a like. And if you learn anything new that helps you out with your building, consider subscribing. Also, if I make a part two to this video, what kind of trees do you want to see me make? What do you want to learn how to build? Leave that in the comments below. If you want to see this magic happen live, then follow me on Twitch too, where I do this in survival on stream. But until next time, everyone, this is Bowtie, and I'll see you later.